Hey everybody, as I promised in my recent video where I made some fermented cheese, today we're going to be making a bacon fermented cheese burger using the beefer. Okay, here's one of our hamburger patties. Now these are prime hamburger patties that came from Allen Brothers. All their product is awesome. I've already had some of these. The flavor is just amazing on these prime burgers. So I've sprayed a little bit of duck oil spray on this, and I'm gonna be using MMA's products. It's incredible. This is great season, all-purpose season to use on about just about anything. We're gonna put this generous on there on both sides. And then, right before we finish it, put it on the burger, we may put a little bit extra uh, salt, some flakes of salt on there. Okay, before we get our burger on, it's cold outside, so this burger is fine where it's at. We're gonna go ahead and cook us a couple pieces of bacon. This is a hickory thick cut bacon. This is gonna be great with this bacon fermented cheese burger. Let's go ahead and get this on beefer first. Okay, let's get our bacon on. Shouldn't take long at all. Really, really hot. Probably here. They're already cooking. Let's go ahead and check on our bacon. Looks good. Go ahead and take this off. And we'll get our burger on. Okay, now that the bacon is done, we'll put our hamburger on there. Start at this level, see where we're at. And I like my burger pretty done. I'm not into the to the rare, medium rare type deal. I like, when it comes to hamburger, I like mine pretty done, so keep an eye on it. Should be done, shouldn't take long at all. Maybe a couple minutes on each side, so I'll let you know how it goes. Let's check on our burger after one minute, see where we're at. There we go, getting a nice crust on it. May raise it up in just a moment. All right, two minutes in, let's check on our burger. Oh yeah, it's getting a nice dark crust on it. We'll flip this over. Try this side. I think what I'm gonna do is lower it here. So I want that inside to get cooked really well. And then we'll raise it up. All right, let's check on the burger to be let it sit lower level. So we're gonna raise this up now. Get us a crust on it. We should be where we want internally. Hear that sizzle? All right, let's check it out, see where we are. I think we're good to go. We're gonna take it off and let it rest. put our burger together. All right, what I want to do now is brown our buns up a little bit. Let me lower it just to tear here. I don't want it to get too done, just to, enough to firm them up, a little brownness on them. Okay, let's check on them. This one's done. This side, we're gonna take this off and slide this to the back. And we're good on this side too. Now we're gonna turn our beefer off. 
put our burger together. All right, let's put this burger together. I'm looking forward to this. So we put our patty on the bottom. And then some of that homemade fermented cheese. Let's start off with this and see how I like a lot on there. So we'll, uh, and yes, I'm getting my fingers in here. It's my burger. I can do that. Alrighty. A little bit more, I like a good heaping. Look at that, that is so good. Alrighty, now our nice crispy bacon. Bacon Permanent Cheeseburger cooked on the beefer. I am looking forward to giving this bad boy a try. Alrighty, look at that. Let's give this burger a try. I know it's going to be awesome. If I can get my mouth around this one thing. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is so, so good. Great combination. This pimpernel cheese with all those seasoning in there. That bacon, that honey, that uh, hickory bacon. Phenomenal, phenomenal burger. You gotta try this. I call it up above. I will leave to how to make the pimento cheese that I use on this burger. Simple recipe, bursting with flavors. This is one great burger. You gotta try it, guys. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for being with us. If for some reason you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing. Until next time, God bless.